folks. Time to repurpose an old axe. Okay, so I have it pretty much marked out. I'm going to be taking the material off. This is all coming out. That's coming off. And I'm leaving enough material here so that I can grind it down after I cut with the cutting wheel. And I'm making a picaroon. Anyone know what a picaroon is? getting there. Two hours later, lots of dust and sparks, and I have successfully changed an axe head into a picaroon head. Now's the fun part of mounting it on the handle. So now it's time to test fit the head of the picaroon onto the handle. And there's a little cool trick I'm gonna teach you. So if you're ever rehandling an axe or a picaroon, what you want to do is you want to just push it on as tight as you can with your hands so it stays. Hold the axe or the pickaroon upside down, take a mallet, hold it loosely, and then whack the top of the handle. And what happens is the weight of the head keeps it in place and the handle rams down into it, just like this. Hear how that clicked? So that set it in um, pretty well not coming off but I have to remove some material from the handle to get it fit down in to this head so here we go two hours later and the head is set and fit perfectly. Almost no gaps, well there's gaps on the top because I haven't put the wedge in. So now I'm sanding the handle. Uh, I'm gonna sand the handle before I do anything else because uh, traditionally what guys did was um, they would soak their handles in boiled linseed oil. And I have a bottle of that. And that's, uh, that's better than the, the lacquered option. This came lacquered, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand all that off. Um, the lacquer, that's going to blister your hands, it's going to chip over time, and the oil linseed oil gives the wood um, moisture it needs, but it also looks really nice, and it's smooth, and it, um, it slides in your hand just enough so that it doesn't blister it. That is much better. Here comes Sheila. How was dinner? Was it good? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> the next step is wedging the head onto the handle. So I got a little bit ahead of myself and I ended up uh, jumping a step and oiling the handle with the boiled linseed oil and wow, does it make the colors jump out and the grain really look nice. It's beautiful, it also protects it from weather. Now we wedge it. Uh, I'm just gonna use the old ax handle as a striking surface. Wedged properly, looks great. Now I have two tiny little metal wedges and you put them in perpendicular to the wooden wedge. So you've got expansion going this way and then you have expansion going that way. both ways. Um, had some weird grains. I think it twisted on me and I also got a little split on the side but it's not the end of the world. It's gonna stay there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now I am gonna go through one final step. This is normally all you do for like an axe um, or a splitting wedge but you're constantly exerting force 
this way, I'm going to drill a hole straight through the head and insert a collar pin or a tension spring so that it's a fail safe. There's no way this head is coming off at any time. There it is, collar pin is installed and it's grounded down so it's like almost one solid piece. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if it works.